Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ActiveOS. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to check logs for ActiveOS. So what are the things involved in ActiveOS? We know that ActiveOS is used to process tasks. So that means there should be an application which is processing those tasks. And when I say there is a application that means it's a it should be working on the application server so the we have to see the application logs application whenever we run that task or run that process it will generate a logs and we can see those application logs the second type of logs are nothing but the deployment logs we deploy the bpm bpr files that is the deployable component in activos and during that deployment some logs are get generated so these two types of jan two types of logs we can check in the activos console so this is the uh, the ap activos applic uh, console application where we have the home monitor report catalog and admin section for checking logs we have to go to the monitor section so click on the monitor and you will see various option here we can monitor the process we can monitor task and we can monitor server click on server monitoring and inside server monitoring we have the various options such as server statistic deployment logs server logs and system performance as i said we can monitor two types of logs one is deployment logs and second is application server log Let's go ahead and start with the deployment log because that is, that is the very first logs will be generated. These logs are associated with what are the BPR component you are deploying in the Activos console. So, so far these are the components deployed clean MDM orphan task, BMDM workflow, infa customer 360 workflow, MDM workflow, common MDM. B MDM workflow, B common MDM, Infa customer 360 workflow. So you can have your own custom uh, workflow also, which might have you might you can deploy. So as in that, uh, these are the components are de already deployed. You'll see the additional information such as date. If there is any error in that workflow, how many warnings? which which the application owner that is tenant and deployer let's go ahead and click one of the deployment that is mdm workflow whenever you click any of the workflow i just click the mdm workflow so it will take us to a screen where it it will show the logs in your same browser it is not just a separate file it is a you will see as a web page so this way you will able to see the name of uh, deployment log contribution is this is the project name this is the name of uh, the project and these are the logs what are the things you can see in the logs you can see uh, <coughs> what is the project name and some additional activities like adding resources or so several resources are getting added during this deployment and that's the log tells about uh, tell up uh, tells to us it also deploys the common validator jar it also deploys the html files such as final review task and other tasks and then it will go to the other activities so by this way you can check the deployment log suppose if you are trying to deploy any bpr file and if it is not getting deployed then you can definitely come here go to the monitor section go to the service monitoring and click on the deployment logs and there you will see the all the error details and you can fix those and redeploy now let's go back and check about the server logs so server log is something if you are doing some activity like scheduling activity or uh, if you are deleting tasks or terminating tasks what are the kind of activity you are doing those kind of activities is logged in this server logs (coughs) 
let's go ahead and see the server log so click on the server log section and if there are logs available that will be displayed on this page so these are the logs you can see um, if there is an error occur then it will mention if there is no error then uh, you will see the very clean and neat logs like you will see the here the status is error is a type of system it's an engine and some additional information so you can look into this errors and fix that so by this way actually you can check the the various error logs apart from these error logs you can check the server statistics go to the server statistic it will tell us faulted and uh, how many faulted processes right now its account is 1000 maximum is 499 and similarly we have the process cache efficiency time to obtain process that is in millisecond times to save process that is millisecond plan cache efficiency plan cache turnover plan cache removal time to obtain plan and other properties there are so many properties available at the bottom we can see the additional things about the server statistics like <clears throat> it is it is telling us what is the cluster monitoring level right now it is normal but we can reset that too uh, the other things uh, available is what is the engine it means it gives the host name and the properties such as as we have seen the earlier we have the faulted process cache time to obtain etc so those are server statistics are also available here but with additional details it is kind of similar but has some additional properties so those are the stats you can capture from this screen this type of uh, configuration will be helpful to analyze whether your server is overloaded with these multiple processes we can track down uh, by monitoring this activity other thing about the server monitoring is system performance you can click on the system performance and it will take us to uh, the screen which tells us how your overall system is working so it has the cluster monitoring you can click the several links like services provided by processes services used by processes and system metrics it will give us the what is the server name running completed faulted timed out total and average service time so these are the services currently available in my current environment ae before <coughs> before before p task that is a uh, task light then we have the task operation offline task task operations offline task and like all associated components are available so these are the services available what are the processes available mdm task uh, clean mdm task clean mdm task uh, aos system service provider b merge workflow b merge workflow and these are the tasks currently running and how long it run that is given the time also if you want to monitor a node <coughs> particularly when your active os is running on multi node structure this information is going to help you such as system monitoring and catalog resources it will give us that how many reads happen how many disk reads happen what is the cache efficiency what is cache size etc so if your uh, active OS server is overloaded then you can decide to move your active OS or you can resize your active OS server so those kind of information you can capture from this section the other information available here is services provided by processes so these are the process names partner links operations and other things so it will give us like overall time how many defaulted how many completed how many running so you can see that th nothing is running right now completed to in the first run and the for terminate process 998 are completed so all this information you can capture and monitor. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to check not only the logs but also you can check the, the server monitoring aspect.
of the activos i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand and um, have more knowledge about the activos thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again have a nice time